I want to bring to the notice of this house that sometime in 2020, that an issue came up. And that issue was the uh, public works program. We all welcomed it with open hands because this is something that will help our people. Today we are talking about paying 8,000 to some people to make sure that it will alleviate poverty. Then it was the amount of 20,000 to 1,000 persons across the 774 local governments, which my local government is part of it. And I'm sure your local government is part of it. And today, 1,000 per each local government minimum, 20,000 naira, has a great multiplier effect that will make our people cushion so many effects that would have led our people into a very greater height. But what really happened? At a point, we wanted to carry out our responsibility because if some people can use the instrumentality of law, which they find themselves within the confines of their own authority, to advance for all their justices, why can't we use the instrumentality of the legislature to support our people and help the populace, which we represent? Then, at that point, we invited the nominee because this thing has been a subject of controversy and public debate, which I don't know. We wanted to know and give him fair hearing. Please tell us because it's now within our own confines authority to know what happened to our constituents. Say, so please come and tell us what really happened. What is the structure? What are the indices you are using to carry out this thing? Because our people will hold us responsible and accountable. And when he was invited, what we are talking about is a 52 billion naira appropriation and the right of appropriation resides on the legislature. That is our right. And I know quite well that the right of oversight resides on us because we have to hold you accountable for whatever thing we appropriate to you. It is our right. Yes. And when he was invited, he expressly told us, to the public, that we want to hijack his role. That we want to blackmail, blackmail us that we are corrupt. That we want to hijack his role. And I know that he midwife the process. Nobody's against that. He midwife the process. And this falls within his own area of operation as the uh, junior minister for uh, labor and employment. Highly welcomed. And not only that, he went as far as in the public line to say that when he was asked, how, which indices did you use to gain this? He said, in quote, they are not from the moon. That was too arrogant to answer Nigerians that way. Because we're talking about what we support and help our people. That is why we are here. Anything outside that, I will walk away from this chamber. My interests are interests, and the interests of everybody is our people. That is why we are here. Not whatever thing any person is saying. And today, we need to find out, Mr. Senior President. Well, nobody is stopping him from being cleared. No. And I'm happy the way the uh, president has sent so many people, great people here. We have questioned them, passed through the screening, wonderful people, and we're ready, as much as they are ready to work with the, uh, the, the, the system, we are ready to clear them. But not on the grounds of putting something under the table, not granting some people fair hearing, because I would like us to grant him fair hearing, since he has been running away from it, for people, for Nigerians to know what really happened. Because I wouldn't like any person to be holding that, because this thing has been subject of debate here and there. What happened to the 52 billion? What happened to the... But he is here, and it's our responsibility to find out. So, Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion so strongly that he has to tell us what really happened, but not here. We have to keep it down a little bit. We're not saying that we're not going to clear him. This is a house that can reconvert at any point. You can even call for an emergency and we'll reconvert. Because we would not like what happened at the last administration where some people felt that the president was in charge and so many other things were happening out there. We won't take it this time around. We want a situation we hold you responsible from the onset. Since Mr. President has started showing us the right hand, we must follow along that side to make sure that we work with him in that right hand as well. Therefore, Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion that we hold this down a little bit, and I move a motion that we suspend forthwith this nomination and wait until when this is left, so that you can freely work in our environment and tell Nigerians, I have perfectly done well because this record has been put straight. That 
Express of mission, Mr. Snape President. Arrest my case. Uh, uh, distinguished colleagues, uh, distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues, uh, the point of order raised by 